Hey y'all, welcome back to our at-home body weight program. It's Natalie Higby here. And Christian. We are super excited to have you guys join us for one of our favorite days, our recovery day. Okay? Day six of the program, it's time to put a little bit of energy back into our body so that we can continue to perform at the highest level possible in this next week. All right, so today's warm-up is a little bit different than our joint-by-joint -joint warm up. It's called a moving group, one of our favorites. We'll go through three different movements for 40 seconds, three rounds total. I want you guys to just start moving with us right from the beginning. Okay, so grab your family members, get your mind ready, let's get going. We're going on to the ground here. Okay, you'll notice Christian has his hands behind him. This is so that he keeps his spine nice and long. We don't want to start to round out here, we want to keep a proud chest. We'll push our feet into the ground. We'll let our knees just fall to the side. So we're going through these 90-90 switches. Again, from here, we'll pull our belly down towards this front leg. Again, spine stays long, then you'll push yourself back up. Place your hands on the ground and move to the opposite side. Again, the knees fall, and then we belly fold down. We put our hands on the ground. Again, we're moving right to left here, okay? Now today isn't about how fast you can go. It is about going through these big ranges of motion to improve the quality of our movement, improve the quality of our overall well-being, okay? Let's do a couple more reps. We're almost there. Good, let's finish this out. One more going that way, beautiful. And move number two is going to be a low lateral lunge. So let's stand on up. You'll notice that Christian's feet here are gonna be wider than his shoulder width, okay? So set your feet up. Let's just shift to one side. Now, on this low lunge, all that means is we're not standing up tall in between. Now, of course, if your legs are feeling tired and you need to stand up tall and shake them out, that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Now, otherwise, we're just shifting, pushing ourselves right to left. You'll notice that Christian's heels are staying flat on the ground here. That's exactly what we want. We want to root through the floor. Try to keep your eyes up, chest up, and keep that breath alive. That breath is going to give you energy today. Slow and steady, slow and strong. Beautiful job. Let's keep going for another five, four, three, two, one. Good work, y'all. Last here is our mountain climber with a reach, okay? So this mountain climber just means one foot is up here on the outside of our hands. This back leg is locked out. From here, we'll take this arm that's next to that front leg, open ourselves up towards the ceiling, and add a little reach and rotation. And again, you'll see this mountain climber We'll add that reach and rotation. Now you'll see Christian lets his eyes follow his fingertips. I want you guys to do that when you feel comfortable. Again, allowing your chest to open. We're switching through a high plank. So we're just stepping our foot back and then stepping up with the opposite leg. Beautiful. If you need to hang out and pause here and move a little bit slower, that's okay. If you need a break, take a break. Remember, today isn't about how fast or how hard we can go. It's about taking our time, putting energy back into our body. Beautiful, let's do one more, and I'm gonna jump in with you guys as we continue to move through this. Excellent job, all right, let's go round two. We're going onto the floor here, staying tall. Good, and we've got this belly fold, pulling our chest down to the ground. Place those hands on the ground, rotate. Woo. I have limited amount of space, so I'm gonna scoot up a little bit. There we go, good. Stay tall. Using that breath here. Now, as we're going into this belly fold, again, you guys, try not to round up the chest here. Try to lean forward, leading with the heart. Pull that belly button down towards your front leg. Excellent job. Let's do one more rep. Good work, good work. We'll stand on up. We have our low lateral lunge next. So let's set up our feet and let's move. My and hips feel great, by the way. Do they? Oh, yeah. Starting to loosen up a little bit. Good, good. We're staying low. Shifting the center of mass here, right to left. How are your legs feeling? Feel great. Feel good. great, yep. Good. Really trying to focus on pulling my hip back so I can load my hips and load my glute a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Save the knees, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of pushing that weight back, sitting back and down. We're almost done, you guys. Stay low, stay breathing for five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Now, going into our mountain climber here. 
Let's step our foot up. Now I'm gonna go to my knuckles, just because I'm a little, feeling a little tight here today, okay? We'll open up, we'll reach, we'll come back down. Switch through a high plank. Reach and rotate, getting that shoulder involved on this one too. We wanna challenge you guys to stay long in your mountain climber. So try to take that bend out of that back knee as much as you can when you're in this mountain climber position. Nicely done, beautiful y'all. Again, control your breath, control your body today. Five more seconds. Let's see if we can get one more here. Beautiful, last round, round three you guys. Come onto the ground. Allow the knees to fall to the side. Pull that belly, pull that chest down. And then again, use your hands so your top of your head stays up towards the ceiling on that switch in the middle. That's key. Okay, we don't want to start to round out here. So press yourself up. Working on the hips on this one a lot, right? Nice job, nice job. Maybe exposing ourselves to some new movement, which is always a good thing. Nice job, let's keep it going, we're almost done. Beautiful, let's go one more each way. Good, last time here y'all, before we stand on up. And those help my uh, low back feel a lot better as well. Oh yeah, big time. Great for parents and for the kids. Mm -hmm. We'll go wide here. Last time with this lateral lunge. Again, shifting, staying low on these. Maybe imagining that there's something overhead, right? Staying underneath a wire or a laser of some sort. But I want to keep my eyes up and my chest up. Again, like Christian mentioned, we're pushing that weight back and down, loading up the back side of our body here. Really putting our weight into our heels. Nice job, you guys. We're almost there. Last 10. Beautiful. Last five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Last 40 seconds going into our mountain climber position. Turn this way a little bit here, and we'll add our reach. Again, we're opening towards that front leg, switching through a high plank. Of course, if you need to rest, if you need to set your knees on the ground for a moment, that's perfectly fine. Maybe you just come right here for a second, take your time and breathe, okay? Again, we're not trying to win the race today. We're moving slow and steady. Just moving slow and strong. Nicely done. Just a couple more, we're almost there. Again, my hips are really starting to open up as well. My low back is feeling excellent right now. I love these moving groups. Good, let's go for another five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Yeah. Feels Good great. Good, Good job, job Matt. Awesome work back at home, guys. Just like Natalie was saying, it's great to have these movements in our exercise programs because it's not only helping us uh, feel a little bit better, right? So I start already kind of feel like I could go out and play some basketball right now and feel great. But we start talking about like injury mitigation mm -hmm. and things that start to hurt us, you know, days after games. These are great things to start instilling in our routine to help us out. Right. Yeah, definitely. And sometimes we have rest days, right, where maybe we don't have practice or we don't have a workout that day, but we don't want to just sit on the couch all day. We yeah. want to kind of move our body and loosen things up a little bit. So moving groups are great for that. Heck yeah. I love that. I love it. Okay, guys, so here's what we're going to do, okay? We're going to have a game for the day, right? And the game of basketball is all about reaction, right? We're always reacting. If we're on offense, we're reacting to the defender. And if we're on defense, we're always you know, re uh, reacting off of what the offense is doing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to challenge our reaction and our footwork here a little bit. So I'm going to give the ball here to Natalie, okay? I'm not going to put the timer on yet. I just want to show you what the three different things I'm going to call out. So if you have a ball at home, you're going to follow with Natalie. Okay, now if you don't have a ball at home, 
No worries. You can just do this without the basketball, pretending you have one here in front of you, okay? So we're all going to start in our low athletic stance, kind of like our triple threat position, okay? Now, the first thing I could call out is going to be pump fake. Now, so if I say pump fake, now there's going to do a shot fake. Now, if I say jab, in this first one, Natalie's going to let her left foot stay down, and she's going to let the right leg be the pivot foot. Sound good? So that will be jab right there. So again, we have pump fake, and we have jab. Now, the last thing that we have here that I might call out is going to be our reverse pivot. So again, Natalie keeps the left foot flat. She's going to open up with the right leg, and then she's going to always come back to that starting position. We'll always come back to that main position to begin with, okay? Now, we're going to go 45 seconds with the left foot flat and the right leg moving. Natalie doesn't know what's coming. You guys don't know what's coming. Just listen to me. Keep your footwork and try to react as quick as you can. You don't have to move fast. Just react whenever you guys hear me say it. Sound good, y'all? I'm going to start the timer here in three, two, one, and let's jab. Awesome. Let's go pump it. Beautiful. Reverse. Beautiful. Let's go reverse. Beautiful. Pump fake. Beautiful. Let's go jab. Boom. Perfect. Let's go jab. Awesome work. Let's go reverse. Perfect. Let's go pump fake. Let's go reverse. Let's go reverse. Yeah. Let's go jab. Awesome job, Nat. Let's go pump fake. Almost there, guys. 15 seconds. Pump fake. Pump fake. Yeah. Jab. Jab. Jab, jab to reverse, boom, boom, one more time, let's go pump fake the jab, and last one, reverse, awesome work, great job, so if you're doing this at home with a partner now, okay, I'm going to go ahead and take the ball now, Nat's going to call it out, I'm going to keep my left foot flat here, sound good, yo, let's try go. that one out, all right, you ready, let's do it, okay, ready, and pump it, Jab, reverse, jab, jab, pump fake, nice, reverse, beautiful, reverse, pump fake, reverse, nice, jab, jab, pump fake, mm. jab, reverse, there you go. To the left okay so same thing now Natalie's gonna go ahead and keep her right leg flat and now her left leg is gonna be the one moving now like I did at the end of last round I might give you two so I might say jab and reverse wait for me to finish it before you move always come back to the middle sound good 45 seconds left three. foot is moving uh yes left foot is moving right leg stays flat here we go three two one pump fake pump fake jab Reverse. Yeah, awesome jab. Yeah, jab reverse. Awesome job. Let's go pump reverse. Yeah, perfect. Let's go jab reverse. Awesome work, Nat. Let's go reverse pump fake. Oh, there you go. Let's go pump fake jab. Let's go jab reverse. 10 seconds, guys. Let's go pump fake reverse. Yeah, let's go reverse into a jab. Boom. Boom. Last one. Pump fake jab. Great job, Natalie. Awesome work. She's now going to do the same thing. My left leg is moving here, okay? Here we go. Last time for the day, y'all. Here we go. Jab. Pump fake. Jab. Reverse. Pump fake. Pump fake. Jab. Reverse. Reverse. Jab. Nice. Pump fake. There we go. Pump fake. Jab. Jab. Jab to reverse. Reverse to pump fake. Good. Pump fake to jab. Pump fake to reverse. 
Almost there, jab. Jab to reverse. Reverse to jab. Nice job. Awesome there we work. go. Great job, Nat. Awesome work back at home, guys. We're going to go ahead and put the ball down. And now here's what we got. We got our flow for the day, okay? Now, well, I'm going to give you guys one movement. We'll all do that one movement together. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a second movement. We'll pair the first and second movement. I'll give you a third. Then we just slowly keep adding on top to make a big movement routine. Kind of like we did on day three mm -hmm. for our recovery days, okay? Now, I'm going to put my timer on for 12 minutes, and we're going to try to move consistently here, okay? First thing we have is our hinge with a little bit of shoulder rotation, okay? In three, two, one, and we're going to hinge. We're going to rotate our arms and our palms behind us to face up, and then we're going to slowly bring those shoulders back before we stand up tall. That's all we got for now, okay, guys? Let's do that again. Again, check out now. It's just pushing our hips back. Rotating her shoulders. Now, when she rotates her shoulders, she's keeping her hips in the same position. So we're not letting our body move. It's almost like a game. How stable can we keep our spine and our hips as our shoulders go from forward to back? Okay. Now, the second thing we're going to add to that is a lateral Cossack lunge. So we're going to face you guys here now, and we're going to do our hinge. So that never changes. Our shoulder rotation, which never changes. Whenever we finish up there, we're going to take one foot to the side and then check this out. The locked out leg, the heel goes down, the toes come up. I come up tall and then we can do the same deal on our next side. We go ahead and bend the opposite leg, heel down, toes are up. Once we come back to tall, let's bring our feet back in and let's continue to move through that still. Remember, movement number one is our hinge with the shoulder rotation behind, our spine stays stable as we come back forward. Once we get there, then we're gonna step off to the side. Again, lateral, Cossack lunge, awesome work. And then again, over to the next side, Cossack lunge, beautiful. We'll stand up tall, and now I'm gonna show you movement number three. So Nat's gonna keep moving, keep following Natalie. She's gonna hinge and rotate her arms, that's one. Number two, into our lunge. Now from here, here's number three, okay? Nat is going to stay here on this side. She's going to put her hands right inside her bent knee. So she's now in a mountain climber. Now from here, whatever arm is closest to your bent knee, you're just going to reach it straight up, hold for a second, come back down, and then come back into your lunge. And then guess what? Whatever we do on one side, guys, we got to do on the next. So we're going to go lateral lunge. That's number two. Number three, hands down, twist with the hand that's closest towards your bent knee. From there, she'll come back down, go back to lunge, and then we stand up tall. Then guys, we keep on going. Nothing changes. We never take away movements, okay? Let's keep going. I got our hinge. Shoulder rotation behind us, all the way back in front of us. After I finish up that, I stand tall. I'm gonna face the side. I'll go lateral Cossack. I'll go hands right down to the ground, so I'm in my mountain climber. Again, twist towards the bent knee. I might hold here for a second before I come back down. I twist back into my lunge, and then I'm going to go over to the next side. Again, I go hands down next to that bent knee. Whatever arm is closest, we reach up. Maybe take for a breath before we slowly come back down. We'll get into that lunge, and then we'll stand up tall. Now, Matt's going to keep moving. I'm going to show you guys the last part of the flow. Again, number one. Always the hinge with the shoulder. Number two is our lunge. Number three is the mountain climber twist. Now, from here, Natalie, I'm going to have Natalie face the side real quick so she can show you guys her back leg. As she's here, after she twists, she's going to let her back foot start to open up towards the side wall as she puts her inside hand, the hand next to the knee, on her quad, and now her opposite hand will reach on up. Beautiful. Holding here for a second before she goes back down into the mountain climber. And then again, from mountain climber, guys, into the lunge. And then we got our next side. So the first rotation is going to be with your hand closest to the bent knee. And then the second rotation, let your foot open up. Hand goes right on top of your quad to reach on up. From there, she'll go back down to mountain climber. 
into that lunge. And guys, that is our whole flow. We still got about another, let's keep on moving, another like seven more minutes. Keep on moving. That's going to keep moving the whole time. Never going to stop. Hinge, shoulder rotation, all the way back, and then forward. And then again from here, stepping off to the side. I'm going to give myself a little extra room. I'm going to go mountain climber towards the bent knee. Open up the back foot away from the bent knee. Once I go down there, I go back to mountain climber. I go into my lunge, and then I'll do the same deal next side. Again, hands go right inside towards my bent knee. From here, I'll twist towards my bent knee. And then as I bring my hand down, my back foot opens up. Hand on top of my quad as I reach on up. From there, I'll go back to mountain climber into my lunge, and then I'll stand up tall. And look, Natalie's already going through. Again, guys, the flow never changes. And if anything, if you feel something tight, let's say this position here, Nat is just gonna take a big inhale, exhale, let your body really understand this movement before you slowly transition, okay? Nat's gonna keep moving. I'm gonna join her again here, okay, guys? We're about halfway through. We got about six more minutes, guys. Take your time and keep moving at your pace. Awesome job. Doing great, guys. Lateral, hand inside, twisting towards the back knee, twisting away. Once I twist away, I always come back to the lunge, and then I'll push over to the next side. Hand goes inside my bent knee. I twist. Come back down. Always let my back leg open up first. Before I come back down into my lunge, and then I'll stand up tall. And again, guys, let's just say you're somebody who maybe practices yoga. Maybe a parent at home, as you're doing this, maybe you've done something like this before. That's perfect. This is just a framework. If there's something else you guys want to add to this flow, by all means, please do so. If there's a movement you know within this flow that you want to add, please, we want you to explore as much as you can on your day six recovery day, okay? Just remember, whatever movement or whatever variation that you guys are doing, that you're using your breath. Slowing your breath down as much as you can. Nice job. Nice job. Awesome work, Nat. How are you feeling so far, Nat? Feeling great. And I just want to encourage everyone, if this is your first time or you know, you're new to these flows, we've been doing these for a while, and I promise... They get a little easier, so just be kind to yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself as you go through this. Try to have fun with it. Try to just explore movement, right? Yep. I love that. I love that. Great point, Natalie. Almost there, everybody. We got about four more minutes left, y'all. Keep it up. Sometimes the best days, guys, aren't the days, or the best workouts aren't the days where we're moving super, super fast and burning a lot of calories or sweating a lot. But sometimes the best days are days like this, where you can allow your body to almost be stretching and staying in an active strength phase at the same time. These are great days to throw in, everybody. Guys, about three minutes left, everybody. About three minutes left. Hopefully by this time, your breath, right, is really starting to expand. You hopefully by this time, you're starting to feel like you're able to take bigger inhales. And that's exactly what we want. 
Our breath is our key. The breath is really the key to you performing on the court. If we don't have control over our breath, if we gas out too soon, that's not going to be beneficial for us. I just want to add also, being an athlete my whole life, I've never considered myself very flexible, right? I never felt very flexible. And after practicing these movements for a few years now, I feel a lot more comfortable in these ranges. I definitely feel a lot more flexible and I feel just stronger and more resilient overall. But it didn't happen overnight. It mm -hmm. comes with practice and patience and just continuing to get after movements and days like these recovery days. They have been very beneficial to my overall flexibility, mobility, and just health and strength. Mm -hmm. Big time. I love that, Matt. Thank you. Thank you for bringing that in. <sighs> Guys, less than two minutes left, y'all. Less than two minutes left. Continue to breathe. Continue to challenge yourself. Maybe you're holding these positions a little bit longer. Maybe you're trying to turn on your muscles by pushing your feet down into the ground a little bit more. Again, the, the great part about this isn't just getting into a position and then relaxing, right? The great thing about these active recovery days isn't about just sitting on the couch and actively recovering, but it's about getting tight and teaching your body how we can go into uncomfortable positions and be okay in these ranges. That's gonna carry over into our strength on the court. Guys, we got about 60 seconds left, guys. About 60 seconds left. Awesome job, Natalie. Keep it on up, girl. Let's go. I'm gonna go one more time through this whole flow, okay? Mm -hmm. Hinge. Remember, guys, we never take away movements. All we did was just add movements into the flow. Nice job. Job. Awesome work. Nat, how are you feeling? Feeling wonderful. Oh, great. Yeah, I feel yeah. really, really good after awesome. that. Awesome. Great job. Great job, everybody back at home. Natalie just going to take <laughs> you through a quick little ending portion here for our day six, and then we'll be done for the day. Whew. All right. Thank you, Christian. Now, today wasn't super um, high intensity, right? Like, we didn't get our heart rate up to this crazy level. We're not necessarily out of breath right now, but I'm a little winded. You might be feeling the same. So we want to practice a little bit of breathing. All I want you to do right now with me is five inhales, five exhales in and out through our nose. Okay, so let's go inhale, slow exhale. Good, inhale, even slower exhale. Nice, three more, inhale, exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale, last time y'all, inhale, slowest exhale yet, give yourself a little pat on the back. Excellent job today, you guys. Thank you for joining us for our recovery day. Remember, our book of the month that we are all reading right now is Mind Gym. Check it out if you haven't already. Highly recommend. It is an athlete's guide to inner excellence. Okay, it's going to help you on the court and off the court. Go ahead and share out some of your takeaways with a family member if you can, or maybe you could write that down in your journal, or just reflect on it. You guys have an excellent day. We'll see you tomorrow.